Today, we're going to take a look at how you would make up an artificial swarm. Today, we're taking a look at how to make up an artificial swarm, and you need to have the colony as strong as possible. And here we see a colony with full supers on top of it. And just to show you what a full super is, we'll take one out there now, out of the box. And ultimately, there's a very fine balance between keeping the bees strong enough to make up the honey and avoiding swarming. So for starters, I'm just going to show you what a full super looks like on this colony before we take it off. You can see here the bees have it kept drawn out, filled with honey, and they've kept, they've it nearly kept. They're actually out of space in this particular box, and we've probably left it too long now to give them more space. So we need to take a further look at this colony and see what sort of condition it's in down at the brood nest. So we're down as far as the brood nest, and that's the queen excluder. And I'm just going to give it a shot of smoke there to get the bees down out of the way so that I can actually go through the colony and have a quick look and inspect for queen cells. And already we can see that there are some queen cups starting there in the center uh, frames there. So I'm gently going to prise the frame out, knowing already that there is brood in all 10 frames here. So here on the first frame, we have bees and brood. And already I've come across a charged queen cell. So now I need to take action on this. So this is what my charged queen cell looks like. You can see it there. Um, there's actually a larvae in the middle of it. It's drawn way out further than anything else would be. So now that I've found this, I actually need to go through the colony and find the queen. Before I do any more, I need to make sure that the queen is still present in this colony. So you can see the colony is boiling with bees and this is the strength we needed at uh, to get honey uh, into supers from the honeybees. So all I'm doing here now is looking for the queen and there you can see her. She has a long body, way longer than the other bees. And if you look down on top of her there, you'll see that there is a section already taken off her left wing. So she is clipped, but the mark has obviously worn off her. And you can see her there just wandering around inside the colony looking for a cell to lay an egg in. So now I've actually identified the queen is there. I'm actually going to take her and that on that frame of brood and put it into a brand new box. So what I'm doing here is I have a brand new box of 10 frames because of the type of hive that's being used here. And I'm just taking a quick look here to make sure there are no other open queen cells on this frame. I didn't see them, but I'm taking a quick look. I've put the queen and the, um, the frame of brood into that box. And now I'm moving that over and I'm going to go to my, to my box in my original location and move that three feet away from where it was. And you can see it's absolutely boiling with bees. And this is the strength you want your colonies at. So now I'm going to put that queen on the one frame back in the original location. All the flying bees are going to come back to this location and they're going to bleed off that purplish box that we're looking at here right to the front of the screen. So now I need to go back. Uh, that's fine. I'm now going back to the original colony and I'm going to look for all the queen cells that are in it. So again, we're back to an open queen cell here that's charged. It's got a larvae inside in it. And that larvae is going to turn into a queen. I'm only leaving one of these in this box and I need to knock down all the rest. So here we are, box closed up in a new location, job done. 